Snacks. Snacks is. Uh, Max? I know he's gonna watch this, and I, I've never really said this to him uh, in his face, uh -oh. but. And excuse my language. Am I allowed to cuss on here? Yeah, you can say whatever. He's the twenty minutes in. I think he's the coolest f***er that I know for making this. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Open Bar Podcast, where the conversation is never on the rocks. Oh. It's straight up no chaser. Your boy C4. We're back with another episode. And guess who else is back? Everybody's favorite bartender is here from the wet bar. You already know, Chef Hayne. That part. Today we got a special, special, special episode. We're back with another episode um, with one of our partners, uh, Matthew, with Nuda Tequila. Just got him. How's it going? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Matthew. <clears throat> My uh, father and I own Nuda Tequila. We just launched uh, about six years ago in 2018. Ooh. And uh, it's an ultra premium, triple distilled sipping tequila. So, uh, yeah. Ooh. And we, uh, we, this is another partner we with the Open Bar Podcast. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. I no, appreciate for it. for sure. It means a lot. Hey. Been a long time coming, though, for sure. My, my first podcast, so. Oh, yeah, now. Nah. Yeah. we excited. It, it, obviously, it's mine, too. <laughs> but, yeah. He brought the runway for oh. All the models, you feel me? Yeah. All the hotties. The, I, the I like the to call the hottie bottles. Exactly. The these are the hottie bottles. Okay. How did this come about? Uh, right so, my father is actually the one that started this. Um, okay. The first idea came about in 2008. We didn't launch till 2018. So 10 years uh, in the making, very, uh, a lot of hard work to, to come out with a best, the best product that, that we can make. Um, so Nuda Tequila, and uh, Nuda is the queen of tequila. Mm. You have a lot of brands that want to claim themselves as the king of this or the king of that. But you wanted to go with the queen, the queen and pay homage to women and make something that everybody could enjoy equally both men and women so want to have you guys drink it i know you've already had it i've had it i've had it for sure i've had it yeah i tried it before i think i tried the reposado that was our extra nail or the yeah 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 that baby was smooth how did you guys come up with the bottle um, so m my father is the shout out to Max. Um, he is the mastermind and genius behind this whole thing. I was blessed and grateful enough to hop on a couple years prior to launch and help get this going and, and get us out to places. And fast forward six years later, here we are. But he designed the bottle. He he the the juice itself is his own formula. So everything is his to a T. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just a little, a quick uh, thing about the bottle as well. Uh, it's, uh, I, ah, uh, man, I don't want to go out. Right. Tell we'll us. Go. I want to know the tea, okay? So. <laughs> For real. Because when I'm talking about it later, I want to sound like I, like I work here. <laughs> well, so, something special about the bottle itself is if you look at other bottles and you see the frostedness, uh, ours is frosted all the way from the top to the bottom where the bottom is clear. You have no necks that are that are frosted like this. Okay. So we wanted to create something very distinct right. that, of course, would stick out on the shelf, and then uh, something that also has really good juice in it. So when you try it, you want to go back for more. So. Gotta have something like that, that not only tastes good but look good too. Exactly, exactly. Actually, this is my favorite one out of all of them. I like this one, and I never li I do not like, like silver. silver. So yeah, like I so used to go with like a, a, an anejo or extra anejo. Yeah. But the silver is... So with <laughs> ours, we actually, we put it through a natural process. Uh, so there's no added sugars, no additives, no preservatives. So it's super clean. So no honey, no none of that stuff. Nothing. Gotcha. Um, the taste that you get is the pure agave profile that you're going to taste. 
We also put it through a natural process that brings out the natural sweetness so that we don't have to put any sweeteners in there and also creates the extra smoothness for when you're drinking it. Perfect. Because it is a sipping tequila, we do suggest having it on its own. One of our slogans, it, as I mentioned, is no salt, no lime, no ice. Nah. So we just suggest having <laughs> it on its own. Um, but of course, we know people uh, have their own preference, so right. however they want to have it. I like it by itself. It really, um, I like it by itself. It's, it's, it's something. When I went to Mexico, when I tasted like the raw, um, like baked agave, mm -hmm. fresh yeah. out of the oven, this really how it smells. Yeah. This really exactly, this is kind of crazy. This taking me back. Mm -hmm. Take me back. Let's take a mm -hmm. shot. Cheers. Let's do, the, let's do the do the one. So should we so take a shot or should we take a sip? We'll take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which you got to, do you have a little toast for us? Uh, oh, yeah, well, toast ahead. to you guys. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. And cheers to the new setup. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cheers. I didn't have that. Ah. With the silver, too. That's great. And funny that you say that because another one of our slogans is the no face tequila. Because no we have a ton of people that always try it. They don't make a face. They don't cringe. And they say, uh, I didn't make a face. So um, we actually came out with that when we when we first launched. But it's, it's a no face, but it's hot. You'll definitely feel the warmth. I mean, yeah. you got to know you're drinking alcohol, so. Yeah, yeah. You, that's, that's, that's take that out. <laughs> <laughs> that's take that out. Yeah. I guess that's, that's what lets you know that that's really liquor. That ain't nothing, ain't nothing else in there. Yeah. How many times you all distilled it? Triple three, distilled. Three, three times? Yeah, three times. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it Which would Which many are either it. single or double distilled, so we wanted to take it up and. Is it a different um, pricing or uh, does it cost more to distill it more? Yeah, I mean, it definitely adds to, to the process. And even the, the natural process that we put it through is very timely and also very costly because um, it uses electricity. Um, right. But, yeah, we wanted to come out with uh, the best product we could. So. with electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> So I was doing my little baby research. I was looking y'all up, and I seen that you are um, Persian, right? Yeah. And earlier when I was talking to you, told me you're Italian and Persian. Yeah. So how did that influence? Do you know about like how that historic influence cre impressed on the flavor? Yeah. So uh, as it, my my father is uh, the the main founder of this. Uh, his partner Francis, uh, who is like a godmother to myself and my sister, uh, has been working with my father in 30 for 30 plus years uh, in business prior to coming out with the tequila. And she's from Mexico, my father being from uh, Iran, being Persian. Uh, a lot of, what a lot of people don't know is that the history and the origin of tequila, the actual machine that was cr uh, used to create the alcohol was originated in Persia. Mm from Persia ended up in Spain, and then Spain ended up in Mexico, and that's when it really kind of became the tequila that it is now. That's a history. So, history. yeah, we wanted to <laughs> use them to tie in the history, being Persian and, and Mexican, so. That's, that's so a dope story. Yeah. Tequila is really like, <laughs> like It's taken over the last, yeah. the last few years. It's really the years. most natural. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's doing a big one. Um, how's your experience been being a part of the tequila? Um, it's, it's great. I mean, we've, uh, like I said, we've been out for about six years now. Um, we like officially out. Yeah. On the market gotcha. it's ever since 2018 and we've, we've, we're a part of so many events. We do so many tastings and we have thousands and thousands of people that have tried it right in front of us and everybody's reaction is always the same. I want to say 99.9% .9 of people are, are in love, they're amazed, they're shocked at what it is. The 0.1% are p people that don't drink at all and it's, everything is the same to them. Mm. But we have people that haven't had a drink for the past 20, 30 years because of a bad experience that they had back in the day with tequila and they don't want to try this. And we finally get them to try it and they're just blown away and so we're, the, the, the feedback that we get from everybody uh, is what fuels us to continue going, no matter what kind of comes in our way. Mm. And I, I mean, deep down in, 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 my, 
in my gut and, and my belief, I've always known from the very beginning that we're going to take this to the top and this is going to be, uh, to me, the, the, the biggest tequila that's out there because of the product, knowing what we have, the quality, yes, everything yes. is there. So, I, I like it. So, Thank you. And I stand behind all the brands that, that I actually have on Open Bar Podcast. Cause we don't have nothing but we have nothing but the best. Yeah. Not only that, we have the first. Yeah. Has this tequila been on another podcast yet? It's first one. Come on, first one. Come on. That's <laughs> steps, you know. I like the I like the fact of of that. Not only is it the first, it's actually pretty good. Thank you. Like a lot of tequilas, Thank you you'll be like, nah, Thank you. That's yeah. shaky. But this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank sure, you. Sure. The business model behind um, owning a brand like this. <clears throat> was it hard, um, or did your father already do the, the, the footwork to get to where you are as far as the business? I mean, w well, the business itself, he, he was actually in uh, the clothing industry mm. prior for 30 plus years. And so this was brand new to him, started off as a hobby the first seven years, then finally shut down his other business and went into this full time. Um, so this was all completely brand new to him. What inspired you to take on the legacy, though? Um, you know, I actually, uh, one day he actually came home, this was probably halfway through, bef uh, when he was working on it and came home with a bunch of sample bottles and oh, so he was already in a, in a yeah, with his little yeah, he was doing his thing and everything, tip exactly with, with the designs <laughs> and everything, different, different, uh, design bottles, mm -hmm. trying to see what was, uh, what he was going to come out with. And I had seen all the bottles and I'm like, what are these? And he's like. My tequila. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm making a tequila. And mind you, I was I was younger. I wasn't drinking at that time, really. And uh, so I was I was shocked. I didn't. The last thing I would have ever expected was for him to come out with the tequila. Right. Um, thought it was the coolest thing. And so, yeah, I uh, I, I was in real estate prior. Wanted to be in the. Uh, I was in the car industry. Um, cars I have have always been my passion, mm -hmm. but. After seeing everything that has gone into this, finding out the quality, uh, just experiencing it, it, it truly has become my baby just as, as much as it was his or that's is dope. his as well. So, that's dope. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's what makes good brands, somebody who actually believe in it. Yeah. That's dope. I like yeah. that. Building yeah. legacies. Yeah, I had to get it tattooed on me too. So stamp, stamp is there, stamp is there the for life. Okay. Stamp is there for <clears throat> life. The dedication. What do you see, um, Nuda? Well, you already you're doing most of the footwork. You're doing um, how many clubs and bars are you guys in? in so we're we're based out out in LA. Um, we are in California. It's where we started out, but we've expanded into Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, and we're now re-expanding into florida okay. um prior to COVID and the lockdown we were in florida new york um ended up cutting ties with the uh, distributors that we were with and so now we're moving with some new guys and they're putting us back out there so uh we're we're excited to be expanding in these these places and hopefully i mean we're still working on on some new states as well so Hopefully this year we'll add a few more to the list. You got That's goals for this year. You can't yeah. say hopefully. You gotta be like, we will. This yeah, year. yeah, we are. It's gonna really? happen. You gotta speak it's, it all it's gonna happen. You're, that's right. It's funny would, that you said. I wouldn't get here. I wouldn't have gotten here if I would have be like, hopefully, you know. Hopefully. It, exactly. Hopefully. Exactly. You know, I've been like, going through a whole nah, manifestation you, thing recently too. Yeah, so I know. Be, he's uh, right. What he was telling me about earlier when I was asking about the podcast. The the what? The podcast. When I was asking you, what kind of podcast do you like? Oh, Ed Milet. Ed Mylett, yeah, Ed shout out Ed Mylett. Who? Ed Mylett. Ed Mylett. He's, yeah, uh, he's a huge, he's a, he's a really big speaker. He's all about helping people change their daily habits, okay, growing yeah. and all that. So I need to check that out. Too. Yeah, he's. Even uh, though I do kind of like, I move, I move like freely. Minutes. Yeah, I, I move <laughs> freely when free. I be trying to like do certain stuff and then sometimes I'm like, ah, you know, but to have that extra voice. Yeah. He, good. I probably and need to check him out. Yeah. And he's very captivating too. I mean, his voice, the way he speaks, it just like just yell? draws you right in. No, not at okay, all. Cool. Just like his oh, tone of voice and everything is like, you got to get up. No, you not got to run before you walk. <laughs> no. Walk yeah. You, not like, at all. He, he can be so, so, uh, soft tone, whatever, but he just, he, he draws you right in. So 
I like this model, yeah. man. Yeah. I like I like I the fact that. that you that this didn't come when it did, but it came when it needed to. Yeah. Because not only are we still building, but you're in the process of building too. Exactly. So I think it's real dope that we that we here and moving forward. So that's dope. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. In the process of building, I gotta get us through these expressions. Yeah. <laughs> So let's let's Any, look yeah. right here. So any things you want to tell us about the reposado? Absolutely. So our, our silver, of course, is not aged, so it's straight from being <coughs> distilled to bottling. The silver then goes into our French oak cognac barrels, and mm. all of ours are aged a little bit longer than most other brands age theirs for. So repos are usually aged two to six months. Ours is eleven months, so it's right on the cusp of being an Anya home. Mm. We wanted to get as much of the characteristics and the profile that we could for each skew. So you're probably standing over the uh, the barrel like two more seconds. <laughs> and <be> an <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we yeah, got it. Take it out right in time. <laughs> I like that. Let me so know what you, you said eleven. Eleven months. Eleven months. Eleven months. Yep. So Cheers. Okay, we're getting smoother. We're getting smoother. Okay. <laughs> no face. Yeah, right? That's how I'm done with this. No salt, well, no got lime, no more. ice. You only got two more. I ain't went for the salt. The <laughs> <one> I <laughs> now the, that the name. That was my burn, though. The name. The name. How did the name come about? Like, yes. Can I tell you the story about that? So, actually, yes. Yeah. So, the, uh, aside from... The nude women that you see on the bottle. Bucking naked. Uh, the name <laughs> Nuda itself. Bec uh, Nuda tequila is tequila in its naked form. Got you. So okay, the actual sense. name itself, though, uh, it's a funny story behind it. My father was in line at Starbucks one day, prior to launch, of course. And he was looking in the... Um, in the fridge section at, in Starbucks and saw the juice, naked juice. Okay. And he's looking at that and he's like, if a juice can call their juice naked, why can't I do that with my tequila? And so he's he was trying brilliant. to come up to see what, what, <laughs> uh, what name he could come up with. And Desnuda is naked in Spanish. Mm. Um, my mother being more on the Italian side, asked my mother what's naked in, in Italian. And she said, Nuda. So ended up shortening it coming up with Nuda, so that's fire tequila in its naked form when is your, when is your dad's birthday what was that when is, when is your dad's birthday uh september 18th oh i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it what what Whoa. day are you dad's all everything what, what date are you september 1st oh okay september 22nd oh no way okay 17. september 17th oh he's, so he's a day right after you That's That's awesome. he's telling, as, right. as you're telling me this and it, it makes complete so crazy. sense i love that it makes complete sense i'm literally seeing that. every piece of the clarity <laughs> that was, that's why i asked that's that is crazy. crazy i love that shout out to the burgos man <laughs> once again once again once again the burgos i love resilientness that. I love that. He doesn't care about none of that. This is what we're doing. This is where we're going. Yes, sir. You yes, sir. Me? I had to get in here what and paint this wall. I had to do it. I had to get Putting it in done. Putting in the work, man. Putting that in is work. dope. I, I'm tired of this. Yeah, that is what you do, do, man. The way, you, the way I put that on your mind about the bottles, and then you, what's your sign? A cancer. Can I knew you was going to say cancer or Gemini. I knew you was right there. Because yeah, the urge in your body that was like, I'm gonna go get the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's an end of action. I yeah. like that. Yeah. That's oh. dope. I, I knew it. So fire. I already I love you, it. When you telling me this, I I'm thought like, it was gonna be you. I thought it was gonna be you, but I knew it was somewhere being I, I, I had, it had to be yeah. I, I as as you were explaining to me how he even the little bitty details, I'm like, what is your dad sign? I love that. I love that. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's Shout awesome. out to your pops, man. Thank you, thank you. Now thank I like you. this even more. Thank you. Got a Virgo. A Virgo oh, I'm gonna have to oh, have Virgo you come by next God. time too. Y'all know what type of energy went in. <laughs> <laughs> it was made for the I people. Nuda was made for the people. Nuda was made for you guys. Yeah. And uh, tequila in its naked form. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get right. this in everybody's hands. So th this is what real tequila is and should be. So we want everybody to enjoy it. We want you guys to enjoy it. Um, I like it. Yeah, yep. That's so fire. So how different from being in a tequila business 
Was it from being in like the car business, the real estate business? Um, you know, actually, uh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> it being ha having been in the other industries, real estate, for example, um, it's actually helped a lot because I used to go knocking on doors. Um, I've I've knocked thousands and thousands of doors trying to get um, uh, clients and whatnot, and this actually is kind of the same thing. Being out here, we were doing all the legwork, mm -hmm. and um, I would go out to just restaurants, liquor stores, wherever I needed to go. And so that allowed me to, ha had built my confidence to be able to go and, and handle right, it no, for, for no all shame. of this. It was like, this is what I Yeah, do. yeah. And if anyone said no for me, it's like, okay. Why? Got a few more hundred people. Whatever knows are going to be a step closer to that, yeah. yes. So just continue I going. Like and that idea. Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's just keep sales. Going. The sales exactly. is like, you'll get a whole bunch of no's. Exactly. As soon as you set your eyes on the one that you need, you're going to get it. Exactly. So, yeah. And I already know this is going to be very big one day, and it's it's on its way, so. Absolutely. They'll be knocking on our door one day, so. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> or, or, or remember your face and just welcoming you in. Exactly. you like, oh, exactly. you know what? The resilience. Exactly. There you go. Yep. So I like that. How 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 do you think the uh, tequila industry is going to? How how do you think that it, tequila industry has been reacting to it though? Like as far as like not just the custom, the consumers, but the competition. Um, uh, you, can tell, you can say the war stories. You know what I'm saying? It's, I got a black mask over there. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the I. There's code of conduct when it comes to gotcha. te tequila industry. Oh, there, we don't really talk about problem. other uh, other yeah. brands and all that. And <laughs> we we definitely no, obstacles. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. I, there's every day. There's like a new brand coming out every day, right. every other day, and uh, a lot of them right now are all celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, no offense to all the celebrities out there, but quality's not there. Mm. Um, I mean, if, if, if I were them, I'd probably do the same thing They're, I mean, at the end of the day, they're in it. They, they know they can slap <laughs> their face on it and right. they're going to sell, but marketing honest, luckily we're, we're noticing that a lot of consumers are realizing the fact that all these celebrity tequila brands don't have the quality there. Mm. Um, so they might try it and maybe buy it once, but they're not really going after it. So we're kind of pushing forward on ourselves and we want to have trying to create the consumers becoming being the celebrities right so you guys you whoever's drinking it whoever's buying it you guys are the celebrities you guys are the main character in your story and however you guys want to play it that's how it is right, and right, you right. guys are the superstars so Absolutely. That's why we want to get it in everybody's hands and uh, have it, have it, it blow up in that itself. sense. Exactly. <clears throat> it speaks for itself. Yeah, I had to ask that question because a lot a lot of up and coming people would be down and like, ah, man, you doing it too? Yeah, yeah, and I mean the the funny thing is is when people are people are always uh, asking us about it. Um, like I said, my, my father first started working on this back in two thousand eight when Patron was just starting to get big. Right. Right. And so people were so in that about taking a shot, chasing it with the lime or salt and this yep, and that. And so, yeah. That so was a thing. Like, that, I guess that was the song, the song and dance you had to do. Yeah, that yeah. That, that's what everyone knew tequila by. And so he wanted to create what tequila should be, which is a sipping tequila, and, and come out with that. And then fast forward, I, I don't know what year it was when Casamigos came out and four years later they sold it for our, however much they sold it for. Mm -hmm. um, but my father was working on this way back. So before everyone started coming in, in this. And so now it's like every time I'm seeing that there's a new celebrity or someone new coming out with a tequila brand, for a quick second right there, I'm like, Man, <laughs> but then I remember I, I I think you in a different lane. Exactly, I know what our product is. I know what we have. I know what our quality is, right. and I don't I don't see that anywhere else. So, regardless, I know this is it's gonna get to the top. I 
I like so, that. You got the right dope. confidence. Yo, I, I, I think I feel like I know him for some reason now. That's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's dope. We'll have to we'll I have to bring right him confidence. by. Yeah, I man. know you should have brought him. Does he live in California? This, this low key yeah. is a, a yeah. Virgo podcast for some reason. Yeah, this is our other producer is a, is a Virgo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. not here right now. Okay. He'll be here next week. Okay. Yeah. Um. Being from California and not being originally from Mexico, do you feel like it creates any more hurdles with your with you ex, ex, like marketing your brand? Um, not really. Uh, no, not really. Um, it's it's just I feel like it's the same thing with anything else. Right. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, uh, I mean, many many brands or the the people behind it not really for Mexico. I mean, you have a ton that are, but then others that aren't and ones that are successful. Um, but for us, uh, we just want to give the people what they deserve and right. they deserve the finest. And so the, of course you come with the good stuff. It's, it, it's giving, showing homage to the, to the culture automatically. Thank right. you. So thank you. Off top. When I read that, um, the dis- distillation machine mm-hmm. came from like Persia, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. just imagine, just imagine sitting at home and your uncle roll up like, man, my brother, man, my brother didn't showed up with some damn machine <laughs> talking about, he got, he can make some nigga out of the out of the, out of the damn cafes. <laughs> <laughs> like, just imagine what that conversation was. Walking outside, right. <laughs> you know? the whole video. Man. Like, right. imagine how how many times he had to convince him, like, no, this is the wave of the future. It's like the he probably was a Virgo too. You know, what it was? it's <laughs> like <laughs> you know, probably. It's what's the, the Will Smith movie? Uh, pursuit of Happiness, mm-hmm. when he's trying to oh, sell the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, medical yeah, machine yeah, yeah, device. Yeah. It's like, imagine that. So it's like, that's kind of dope that yeah. you have like that part of the story too. Cause yeah. I yeah. know a lot of stuff about tequila, mm-hmm. but I yeah. learned that today. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of I people don't know that. I learned that today. So right. I guess to to add on to your to your answer, since we have, we are. I mean, I'm not personally from Mexico, but we have Francis is and my father being from Persia and this originating from there. It just it, makes sense. It you makes know, sense. It's a trick exactly. question on my part. Exactly. I just wanted you to, to, <laughs> exactly. to revel in the class a little bit. <laughs> like, I just wanted you to be like, I'm well, <laughs> yeah. my ancestors <laughs> yeah. are the real reason that it's Exa- here. Exactly. <laughs> if you want to be exactly. real <laughs> without the Persians, <laughs> there would be no skin, okay? You still Uh-oh. be eating agave. Exactly. Straight Uh-oh. off the floor. Yeah. Uh oh! <laughs> I, yeah. like I like that. That idea is fire. Yep. You know, business. my first name is Persian. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to tequila every day. That's crazy. This is a tequila podcast. A Virgo tequila podcast. This is crazy. <laughs> That's this super is, fire. This is ridiculous. Do you have children? I do not. Okay, I was about to say, are they ready to start their tequila legacy? Yeah, because you, you're uh, carrying yeah. a legacy right now. For yeah, sure. yeah, and I. Uh, that that's something that has has been uh, opening up more in my mind. The fact that my father created what he did, and realizing that this is something that what I see is going to be nationwide and worldwide one day, and I also have the duty to help take it there. You feel like it's any pressure? Definitely, a little bit, a little, little bit, uh, but just, just, that just a little bit, just a little <laughs> bit. But um, I, I just, uh, I, like I said, in, in my heart, in my gut, everything, in my, in my uh, truest sense, I, I know one way or another we're going to make it happen. So. And it's getting there, so we're just doing whatever work we need to do and taking it day by day, and it's going to get there, so. How was the conversation? Like, how was the conversation? Me being a, a father, like mm-hmm. carrying something for my kid to come to me and be like, hey, you know, what was the conversation like when you went to your pops and was like, I want to be a part of this, I want to carry this, I want to do this? Uh, you know, I, Dang, that's, I don't, I'll, I'll be, I, no, I'll be honest, I don't, we didn't necessarily really have a, a, a straight conversation like that. Um, just because I was in other industries prior mm-hmm. and, since this was still on its way to, to to get where it needed to, and I mean it's still getting there, but 
I obviously have my day to day and I needed to take care of what right. I need to take care of and, right. and, and bring the, the, the money in. Right, so exactly. uh, on my end, so um, I, I just I, I, I kind of was at first splitting between this and, and also the other stuff and splitting the time uh, between the two. Um, but at one point, I just this became my absolute passion and I, I knew my duty and, and there's nothing more that I want to see than for this to be at the top. Mm -hmm. More so for the fact of his work, his, his hard work and dedication and everything to this. And I, if there's a one person on the face of this earth that is more deserving of all the success in the world, I have to say it's him. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's given uh, his life to, to my sister and I and, and even my mother. So. Uh, I just know I, I owe my life to him and, and I want to do whatever I can for him and get this to the top. That's dope. So it wasn't really like a, a conversation about it. It was like, well, I'm, you said in 2008 he started. He started working. The first so, idea came about in so 2008. So how were you? Uh, 2008, that was, uh, we're in 24, uh, 16 years ago. 16 I'm turning 29 this year, like 13. Shit. 13. Holy shit. So that's what I mean by. I was, yeah. So that's what I mean by the conversation, like when you um, the, the talk, like hey, you know, this is your pops, like this is what I'm doing. Was you did you take interest then? Uh, I, I was definitely intrigued for sure. Um, that was halfway through, so I'd probably say uh, I was I was about like 17, 18 at the time. Mm. Um, I, I was definitely intrigued, and and he's a very like clean cut by the books type of guy right. um doesn't tell any lies like not even a white lie so he's he's right. a very honest and Getting pure man that. yeah so for that um i i was definitely very intrigued and um i i wanted to i wanted to learn more about it mm -hmm. and so once i got to the stage because even at that time I, I mean i wasn't really drinking if right. i drank right. wh whatever i drank i just i didn't know what was what right. i just right. drank right. whatever yeah. was there so once I started learning about it, I'm like, absolutely killed it. Made made something very special, and so I, I definitely wanted to be a part of this. And there was no way that I was uh, not gonna be a part of this. <laughs> it's like I'm so, here, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. No choice. I'm with you. I'm riding with you all the way. So. So you out here throwing um, Beverly Hills nude parties? <laughs> I why did that sound so ditty? Right? <laughs> I mean, you that know That sounded why? real ditty. Yeah. His first moment that he, that he like told us he was from Beverly Hills. I'm like, <laughs> and you know I wanted tequila. Hmm. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> That's a re 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 recipe for a party. Right. You look like you like to party, you know. I, I do. You know, I dress like you like to party. I do. Yeah. I mean, my, my uh, like I said, my mom's side of the family is from Italy, and, and her and uh, her two brothers... Uh, make ready-made uh, and custom-made suits all, all oh, really? from Italy. Oh. So they've all, all my all my suits and everything are all oh, from so them. You, so. really you got the juice. <laughs> yeah. And shout out to Stefano, Italy. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We, we see yeah. what y'all right doing there, over right? here. Yeah. Yeah. You, we see what y'all doing over there. So I, got, I, I gotta represent the family. You know. Yeah, yeah, Girl, you doing that? I mean, you running this. <laughs> you running this to the top right now. Thank you. Thank you. For real. Yeah. I seen you in um, Texas. I seen you at the store doing the tastings. You doing yeah. most of the footwork. So yeah, we uh, with with that we open up in Specs. Um, they're large uh, group in in Texas. They have over two hundred locations. Dope. Um, they threw us in. Uh, and a handful out there to start and so we went out there to hold a bunch of staff trainings customer tastings and all that and we should be back out there next month to to do more in, in dallas but we started off in san antonio austin and, and uh and houston so we're, we're expanding we're expanding that's so exciting we're excited. what is the yeah. most exciting place that you have done promotion like what's been your most exciting moment so far uh that's a great question. I mean, uh, we, I, I would say uh, Texas and, and Louisiana both have been very, uh, very fun. Um, I was in Vegas also because we're working on, on distribution out there. And That's we were just big. getting out there uh, or getting this in the hands of a lot of uh, uh, places out there and different establishments. So that was definitely a fun experience um but i, I would say louisiana and, and texas yeah. were, were an experience because that's where we 
are selling. Mm -hmm. um, we're not selling in, in Nevada just yet, so um, that's definitely a great experience. And we will be going back out to uh, Louisiana as well in the next I month or so. I can't wait till I come into a, um, a Nuda Tequila Daiquiri. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, make something special. Yeah, that's going to be something bomb. Okay, I'm going to have to be looking for y'all more. I like it. Who's doing most of the marketing? In, um uh, so that's uh, it's on it's everything up until now has has really been obviously in us all in house. Yeah, yeah we're a very small team right now. Um, from the the working on getting the distribution to marketing to sales, everything is in house right now. Um, oh. But uh, we're we're definitely growing and and expanding. So we're we're going to be throwing some new things in the mix, but. I'll leave that for uh, for the audience to, to see when everything starts coming out. Start so. growing. Okay. Yeah. This is the Añejo. Añejo. So Añejo. this is aged 26 months, two years, two months. So did you over did you over age this one too? So this one, yeah, it's aged uh, a lot longer. Anywhere from one to three years is considered an Añejo. Um, so ours being uh, two years, two months is definitely longer than most other brands. Okay. So. Right. This, this and still get into it. all French oak this, this cognac like, barrels. This is number three? Mm -hmm. Number three. Let's so do, let's, we can do that on extra. Yeah. All right. I definitely get the um the taste on the um, barrel. I mean, not the barrel, but the barrel. Yeah, and you're, you're going to start to get a, more of the... the, the Almond, caramel, a little chocolate. I get it right off top. You're gonna get more of those uh, notes and flavors. It's going into like a Merlot, like a nice bold wine. It's smooth though. Mm -hmm. Thank My you. Eyes low. It's getting smooth. <laughs> See these it's eyes? Getting a little crazier. I ain't gonna lie. Getting a little crazier. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting yeah. to not feel it at all. <laughs> like I think they all have you know the same. They, they all have like the same palette. Mm -hmm. Like the the after, there's no burn to it. Or, or yeah, but the taste gets more uh, bolder. Yeah, yeah. They bolder. they all transition very nicely. Um, mm -hmm. It's not like you're jumping from something completely different, mm -hmm. but you're still getting different profiles in there. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, what people usually say is it's dangerously easy to drink because it's That's so That's what smooth. I was just about to say. So. When I said it's getting easier and easier, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know yeah. what that means? Things getting more and more. And of course, I mean, everyone has their own, re their, their, everyone has their own reaction to the way they consume alcohol or whatever the case is. But for us and for other people that we know, as long as you're drinking this, you can drink as much as you want. Next day, you're going to be totally fine, no hangover or but, anything like that. But, 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 a but there <laughs> there's is more. What's the but? Drink responsibly. Exactly. We say sip responsibly. Sip responsibly. Sip nuda. <laughs> responsibly. Pinky's up. Yes, sir. Nice. What is, your, what is your favorite? Uh, if you had these, your babies. Yeah, Which I mean, you going, you going, I, you I really, I, I honestly, and, <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm not just saying this, I, I really love them all. Um, of I've, and I mean, from the start, I was more of a darker drinker because of the flavors and everything. Right. But um, I, 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 little fun fact, I guess, prior to launching, more of the focus was in the silver because he wanted to come out with the silver that was unlike anything else that was on the market and so everything was really focused and tailored to this and of course i mean we had eight, had these uh in the works as well so most of the uh majority of the production that we had come out on our first production was mostly silver right and then we came out with everything people were trying them all and they were all taken aback by i mean the añejo extra añejo so we're like okay we got to even out the playing field and so we ended up evenly distributing all of them. Um, it really depends on my mood and the occasion. Mm -hmm. um, I know we do say it is a sipping tequila and you should sip on it, but right. of course, I mean, when family or friends, we get together, we want a pregame or whatever the case is, we'll take some shots and whatnot. 
I could go anywhere from the silver all the way up to the extra añejo, but if I really, really, really had to take it down to one, it sounds like you don't know steel. I, I would, I would take, I would pick the extra añejo just because of the all, all the flavors that you really get from there. Okay, um, they are all sweet, naturally sweet, but I would probably say the our extra añejo, which actually what we don't have up here. We do have a fifth one, the five-year limited edition Royal Premium, which is the only Royal Premium tequila on the market. What? So say, say that again. Say. the only Royal Premium <laughs> tequila on the market, the new only. to tequila, is our limited edition. So the CRT is the governing organization that oversees everything for tequila. From the moment that you plant the seed to when you're ready to bottle and get everything shipped out, right. without them, nothing goes. Our other bottle is the actual bottle of the lady itself, ceramic bottle. And because Nuda is the queen of tequila, it is royalty, we requested if we could have our own category of royal premium. So these are all ultra premium. You have brands that are premium mm -hmm. and other ones that are ultra premium as well. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to make royal premium for that one. They approved it. And so, so we what, are the only what tequila What goes into a royal premium? Fire. So that is a five-year extra in Yeho that okay. we have. Wait, just, it, just the aging make it's, it? It's the aging is what make it Yeah, royal? so it's just the aging, um, the bottle itself, but the whole background behind it of Nuda being the queen and being royalty. Mm -hmm. Because of the bottle, uh, I wish I had it here Don't worry, to show you guys. Phone. But we'll yeah, get it. We'll get it. Yeah. yeah. It's so it. we'll freaking we'll get it. cute. Like, yeah. We have got but uh, so that's why we wanted to create something very special, and we were able to do that. So we have that as well. Yeah, I already told so you I gotta get I gotta get my hands on that bottle. That bottle is so oh, fire. Absolutely. It looked like it tastes good. Like um, oh, it, and it's, it's like delicious. so dope how you like basically took her off the bottle. Like, which is like such that a that was actually a little another another fact um we'll get uh, let, let everybody in that was supposed to be the uh, original bottle oh, really yeah. so what happened uh we ended up uh we we because of things that had, that had come up and and just seeing different perspective of, of, of things we wanted to create uh, something more uh, common as far as bottle-wise, <coughs> something easier to use. So, so came out with these, and we wanted to make that a very special and, and limited gotcha. product. Mm -hmm. So is Exclusive. that one in stores too, or is it just on the website? It's it stores. Yeah, it's in stores. Um, again, it, it is very limited. We have uh, we we made it in the royal blue color that you might mm -hmm. see out, and then we also made it in a pink color for women's cancer, cancer women's um, because oh, we had connected with this foundation <coughs> called the Concern Foundation. Mm -hmm. And they throw a block party every summer uh, at Paramount Studios. Dope. And so because of them, we actually, first we only had the royal blue color. And because we were able to be a part of that event, we ended up coming out with the pink one so that we could donate some of the proceeds to that. That's dope. That's, and that's, a, that's a good. I don't know nobody doing so that. Fire. Yeah, but those all all the pink ones that have been out, those are all completely gone. Oh, for so real? They now, so now it's like super limited edition. So yeah. if I see somebody with one, I should snatch it and run. <laughs> I won't say do that, that, but <laughs> if you hire me and you have that pink, let me see that real quick. You have yeah. that pink, <laughs> tequila bottle in your house. Definitely very special. Definitely I very will special. replace it with a, a sixty-four ounce big goat. I don't know. I'm just. Or, gonna, or you can let them know. I'm you got to get him a case of <laughs> a whole case of new. <laughs> like she made it like Indiana, uh, Indiana Jones with a little bag. Yeah, like, like yeah. Like, yep. Run. So there are, I mean, limited amount left uh, with <coughs> of, of the royal blue on the market. So if anybody gets the chance to to get their hands on one, definitely do it because they will be gone soon. So. So you not you guys are not gonna reproduce the blue, or it's just gonna always be like a special. So we're production? gonna we're gonna be coming out with something. Um, they're gonna uh, some other s special products, gotcha. but uh, okay. they're they're in the works. But we're definitely gonna be having. That's right. Yeah. I, I, that right there is big because 
Yeah, cancer is crazy. Breast yeah. cancer, yeah. any kind of cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah, support that, that is like, that's up there. Yeah. So we going to the big dog. Yes, we're going to the extra. To the and extra, and yeah. Dog. And I read that this was like real gold. Yeah, so uh -oh. we originally, some years ago, we had placed this into a competition. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember which one it was, but we won a double gold award for it, which mm. was the highest award, and we were the only ones that had received it out of hundreds, I don't know, maybe thousands of, of uh, brands. That's a, that's a stamp. Yeah, and so at, the, at that time we had, these are all new labels. We decided to come out with our new labels on here. Mm -hmm. um, they all used to be black with uh, red writing as well mm -hmm. but each skew now has their own colors to it but at the time we put the the gold on there because of the fact that we won the double gold award um, but ever since then we've placed it in a handful of competitions our most recent one we were in the proof awards uh, that's based out of Las Vegas thousands of, of different brands that uh, are, are in there we placed all of these in there we won six double gold awards and two gold awards that's, so that's lit. This is really award winning. Yeah, and it's a two day yeah. competition. This the first day is a complete blind taste test. Podcast. They don't see the bottles. They they don't know what they're drinking. They're just tasting it. Uh, the second day, they will see the packaging. They'll know what they're drinking, the name, and all that. So, um, pretty much all the uh, most of the double golds that we had gotten were from the first day, even that they had no idea what it was. So just from tasting it. We had received those. That's dope. So, that's dope to know that to, to know you have a quality product and to put it into a competition yeah. and actually win. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, thank you. Y'all didn't pay for that. I actually just realized. Y'all didn't pay to get win. Yeah. No, all no. the bottles do yeah. have a different hue. That is hue. sick, bro. They, I just yeah. noticed that. Yeah. All yeah. the bottles have like its own like distinction. So like this one has like a rose gold. Exactly. This yeah, we wanted like to. Gold yeah, with the silver, we yeah, wanted to go silver, with the silver. silver. Before the silver has like a, a a rainbow to it, not a rainbow, but like a. a yeah, it has like a little uh, effect on, on there. Yeah, I like That's that. Dope. And then this one is like the the, the lady. It'll get you staring at it once you're drinking a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> Start tripping what, what, what bars yeah. and stuff you guys at? What can they find it exactly? Like, say for instance, I'm in LA and I want to go to a bar, or a club, like. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, we're. Eh, Working on it. We're we're kind of scattered around. Um, it just it, if you go on our website nudetequila.com dot com. Okay. Uh, we have everywhere that that we're we're in stores, liquor stores, and all that. So wherever whatever area that you're in, um, you can kind of you can go on there and get it, yeah. check it out, and and see where we're at. So. Um, I was all over y'all webs. Is it right today? Should be doing our research. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> got to be educated because you know, there's a lot of stuff that I honestly, when I first like seen the brand, I was like, the bottles already caught my eyes. Dope. Mm -hmm. Then I started looking into how you guys were marketing and stuff. I'm like, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. And you know, of course, Open Bar Podcast, I got to get, yeah. got to get the spirits. So yeah. Like, yeah. Reached out to you. Thank you. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm glad we're here. I'm very glad we're here. Shit, I'm glad we and, and shout out to you guys. I mean, you, you, and you as well. I mean, great, uh, Resilience. great. Resilience. Exactly. <laughs> great human, great heart. So that's uh, that's what it's all about. I think when when I reached out to you, I only had on the YouTube maybe a, maybe a thousand, maybe oh really maybe a thousand, okay. maybe like six hundred. How did you guys come about? How did this Just connection come? Reaching about? out. Um, I was doing my due diligence. Yeah. You know, networking. I uh, I was I was a little slow on on uh we here tying the knot <laughs> we here now it takes that so though. but this is your first podcast this your this your first is, experience like yeah, this right yeah so. yeah it's my it, first one and i always say everything happens for a reason even even that that day that i came by um we just the way that everything like worked out hours. yeah we were it was like four hours i was, was it yeah we ended up uh <laughs> i came i don't remember what it was time like I came, 11 but yeah i ended 11. up we were here for four hours i, I was actually supposed to only be here for a yeah, couple hours because like I had something. another appointment that I needed to get to but I ended up rescheduling that and uh, I'm pushing it back because yeah, like we're we'll running the heat of the moment so yeah I, when I, once I get into something I'm into it like, yeah especially when it comes to business I'm real passionate about certain stuff I yeah. want to make stuff work yeah 
So, yeah. I think that's dope, though. I like your father, man. Shout out to him. Thank you. Dude. What's Thank his name you. again? Max. Max, man. Max. Shout out to Max, man. <laughs> shout out to Matthew, too. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, shout out to Matthew for sure, but shout out to Max. Thank you. Yeah, no, <laughs> Ma Max, Max is... You call uh, Matt Max? I know he's going to watch this, and I, I've never really said this to him uh, in his face, uh -oh. but... And excuse my language. Am I allowed to cuss on here? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. He's 20 minutes in, I think. He's the coolest fucker that I know for making this. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Dope. Thank you. Dope. Dope. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I already got my little my little ding to let us know. The bar is doing last call. So make sure you ding? You see the ding? I thought that was like, I heard like a little ding. I don't know. It was like a weird ding. You know, like I never heard that before. So I'm like, she got, like her, a, she got her own show. No, going on. no, 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 I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I was just going to say before y'all get into the last part of y'all conversation, we're going to do this shot for me. Oh, this is already oh, yeah, done. Yeah, no, right. Right. Yeah, for sure. We definitely going to do that. We got to do the um, the one. So this is what I do. Um, this is like something that not that I came up with. Shout out to E40. You know, and I, I've been doing it for a while. And of course, my family. I'm not above you or below you. I'm right with you. Oh, I like that. So, Cheers. Salute. Yeah, cheer. Had to do that one for Max. I like that. And it's still smooth. Mm -hmm. So this is aged three and a half years, 42 months. So what's the regular? Three years and above. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is uh, this is ours. This is the one I would go with for you know something quick, but I that would be my chill at home sipper, like off top. I like that. I like that. I ain't gonna lie, this yep. <laughs> I'm really, really, really gonna be like doing a tussie roll in the club. <laughs> <laughs> that a, that a, this that a, is so yeah. close to cognac. It's scary. Yeah, it's it, it definitely like has a really you got rich, those yeah rich experience like oh mm -hmm. that pairs. I mean, if anyone is a cigar smoker, oh yeah, that is great. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, something that uh, I like actually, I mean, I, I I do like <laughs> smoking cigars <laughs> and oh we gotta we gotta we, we gotta, gotta go. do it. Have something do that it. I did learn recently though that I guess I was an amateur too and I wasn't aware of is that. You dip you the dip head it. of it yes, in your drink, and so I Sit recently down for a while too. Let it, let it, let it marinate. Yeah, so I tried that recently with that, and it was phenomenal. So try that. I'm gonna put. I'm make sure I put y'all on to my favorite little cigar lounge. <laughs> you know, I got all kind of favorite places. What's in what? It's in Inglewood. Oh, by P.S. Martin. Oh, I, I think it's called Blunt and Leaf, Leaf and Blunt. Oh, like okay. It's in Inglewood. It's well, whenever you're ready, let me know. I'll I go be to there. One, I go to. The, I'll go to the one I like. It's mm -hmm. in Pasadena. Okay. So, Let me know when you're there. Yeah. Close we, yeah. Let's go, sir. We go. Yeah. I'm all about I would it. Love to see I've, been, uh, I've been I've been needing a nice little cigar session, so. We go. It, it, see the one the the one that I go to is kind of bougie, so you can get like a um, like a uh, uh, a specific like cabinet shelf mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. your name on it you can bring okay. your own oh, they have lockers. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. locker and then you okay. just you can you come in anytime you want to get i love your, that get your drink and i then love get that. your cigars they, i love that yeah that's the one i want let's to make it happen to. they have like this this like a membership yeah to where you pay i was just about, to, yes. say that. I was just about to ask both yeah. y'all where y'all and then you put all your uh cigars and your alcohol and you can have like special events oh nice and bring people in and y'all can Nice. Congregate with you. But any, anyone can go in there, though. Anybody can go in there. Oh, okay. The show. But I think that, I don't know, I don't know the, the exact rules, but mm -hmm. I, talking to the guy about it, he was telling me about it. I said, I, that look, that sounded pretty dope. If I, at the time I wasn't smoking cigars, like, I was smoking them back, like, good, yeah. a lot, but then I slowed down. So at the time, yeah. I was, I, that's when I slowed down. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thinking about it now, it's like, you might want to look into that. I will. I will. You and you let me know whenever uh, whenever yeah. we can get together for one. We got to make I'm, that happen. I'm actually, I'm free to tomorrow. Like, I'm not doing it tomorrow. We can go check it out. <laughs> if you're not doing nothing, though, I mean, that's just something we can probably go check Absolutely. Boy, just want to happen. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm, that's... Never going to turn down a cigar. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, literally, I'm He's not Italian doing it tomorrow. Italian and Persian. They love tobacco. <laughs> they have the best. 
Rolly. We got it all. Yeah, exactly. You got it. You got to have the hand motion. <laughs> <in there. laughs> You're not a true Italian if you don't if have you the don't, hand motion. If you there. don't, and that's crazy. That that, that I mean, everybody don't think about that, but if you know, you know. Right. Yeah. So you come from like a um, a history of like passionate trends. Yeah. In fact, your mom family is like into clothes. Yeah. Your dad, like before you before he was doing tequila, what was he doing? He was in clothing, yeah. Yeah, um, was both in clothing leather clothing. and just other. Oh, so good shit. Clothing. Good mm -hmm. nice shit. So, uh, so you can. Oh, uh, not. Like I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say like the the fancy stuff, but. Literally, he, he did it. That was no. what that was. <laughs> my, I, I, my, 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 my mother and, and her two brothers, I mean, with, with the Italian clothing, that for sure I can say, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's dope. Would you call your father like a serial entrepreneur? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, his, he actually, I mean, his, his story, um, he ended up, like, he from Iran went to London Mm -hmm. and he went to college a little bit early, I mean, 15, 16, around that time, and mm -hmm. um, was supposed to go back to Iran, but then the revolution happened, and so us being Jewish, we, or all the Persian Jews out there had, had to flee. And so my father ended up coming out to L.A. and started scrubbing toilets in McDonald's. And so he worked his way up from scrubbing toilets to managing hundreds of mcdonald's on the, on the west coast oh, and working directly with the founder um and mcdonald's pretty much kind of blew up when the founder if, if i'm not mistaken was about 57 years old yeah. so in his mind he's like if he can do that at 57 why can't i do that with That's something wow. so we actually launched in 2018 when he was 57 so that's dope it, it, it hit home for him for sure and was uh it's a lot of good gems yeah yeah i like that i really really love the story behind it yeah thank you i really love thank it you. it's so Myra. inspiring and so sentimental thank like, you yeah, so shout out max <laughs> okay <laughs> I mean, yeah, we already got the, the website, Nuda Tequila. Nuda Tequila dot com. Yes, sir. The Instagram, Nuda Tequila. Nuda Tequila. Everything Nuda Tequila. Everything Nuda Tequila. That's if y'all not following, make sure that y'all start following. Or Please do. Yeah. Check it out, because it's good. It's for sure good. Um, I, was trying to, I was trying to squeeze some of the locations out of him, but he wasn't, he wasn't budget, so. You have to go we're, to the, we're, you, Total we're, Wines? Uh, we're we're, we're, we're in Total Wine in Texas. Okay. Um, Texas, I so, so Texas, Texas Total Wines <laughs> and Respects locations, mm -hmm. um, and out here in, in California, we're more in your local liquor stores. Okay. Uh, we're we're still working on the big ones, Total Wine and Bevmo and all that. Okay. Um, soon we will be in there. Or uh, or or look, y'all can just tap in, go okay. to the website. Exactly. Y'all you know, get it like that. Or 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 y'all can holler at me. I was just about to say. <laughs> just holler at me, and I'll make holler sure I get it for y'all. Exactly. your regional representative. You know. Yes, sir. I'll I, I be, I be the salesperson on this end. And if you absolutely need to, you can buy bottles on the website. Absolutely. It'll be shipped directly to you, so you don't even the have to leave your couch. The price crazy. The price really is not that crazy. What's the price for um, Uh, Retail, I mean, on average, depending on where you go, anywhere, uh, silver is about... 50 to 55, Reposado 70 to 80, Añejo mm. 90 to 100, and then extra Añejo is about 120 to 160. Okay. And then our limited edition, if you could still get your hands on it, about 600. Oh, yeah. 599.99. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, shit. We're going to have to follow up in the next year or two. Absolutely. And then see where we at. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to make sure we keep it on. I would on love tap. that. I would love that. Keep it on tap. You feel me? Um, thank you for sh showing up. Thank, thank you. you. We've been, we've thank been you, talking man. back and thank forth you. for a minute now. So. Oh, this means a lot. I'm, I'm honestly, yeah. uh, I'm very grateful to be here uh, and I'm, I'm uh, glad to we be got with, one in the with bank all of now. you guys. So. We got one in the bank. We got one in the bank. It's more to come. We got a lot, of, lot more we're, stuff. We're going to be on, going so. up together. So. Yeah. I'm excited, so, you guys. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed this. How do you like this? What's your, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah, I mm. think I think she's on the oh between yeah. here and here. Okay. Too soon. Okay. Between here and, and I'm I'm with him. I'm not <coughs> super a big Too silver thick. person, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I like it. Which is good because we 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 need. I mean, everyone has their own palate. 
and so we we need to get everyone to have a little favorite of something. So yeah, we we'll have to start doing a little poll. I am gonna use these two for cocktails pole. though, yeah. because I do like I like when I I, I didn't get to get to make you a cocktail, but when I make cocktails, I like them to be flavorful. So mm -hmm. using a tequila that's not gonna exactly take over. Mm -hmm. That's gonna really work. In I, I I would suggest Repo is 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 great for for that. You gotta try it. Yeah. All right, man. Look, so we're wrapping it up. Thank you so much. For sure. Appreciate you. Yeah, Thank you so much. That was regular. That's, that's <laughs> How are we doing it too? Yeah, yeah. Goddamn yeah. Southern <laughs> Californiers. <laughs> All right. Meet me by the ball. Bars open. 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 Bars open.